country. What's up guys? Welcome back to Ion Busing and Trucking YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn about the coupling system on this Class A tractor trailer. Always remember when you're doing the coupling system you always want to make sure anything that's rubber has no abrasion, no bulges, no cuts. And if it has air, no audible leaks. Anything that's metal or hard plastic, not broken, not cracked, not damaged. Anything that's like mounting bolts or screws, no rusted, cracked, or missing mounting bolts or screws. So, always remember, you always want to start with your red emergency airline. My red emergency airline, there's no abrasion, there's no bulges, and there's no cuts. It is properly mounted and secure to my air valve and it is properly mounted and secure to my glad hand. My air valve is not broken, it's not cracked, it's not damaged. And it is properly mounted and secure to the tractor. There's no audible leaks. My glad hand is not broken, it's not cracked, it's not damaged. And it's properly mounted and secure to my trailer. Inside, I have to have a rubber seal. The rubber seal should not have any abrasion, no bulges, no cuts and no audible air leaks. All the mounting bolts are not rusted, they're not cracked, and none are missing. Next to it, I have my electrical line. My green or black electrical line has no abrasion, no bulges, no cuts, and it is properly mounted and secure to the socket on my trailer and to the socket on my tractor. Both sockets are properly mounted and secure not broken, cracked, or damaged. All the mounting bolts, not rusted, not cracked, none are missing. Both of my safety latches are in the locked position, not broken, not cracked, not damaged. Next to it, I have my blue service airline. My blue service airline, there's no abrasion, there's no bulges, there's no cuts, there's no audible air leaks. It is properly mounted and secured to my glad hand and also to my air valve. My air valve is not broken, cracked, or damaged. Everything seems to be on tight. My glad hand, not broken, cracked, or damaged. Properly mounted and secure to the trailer. All the mounting bolts, not rusted, cracked, or missing. All the air lines and electrical lines. Air lines, no abrasion, no bulges, no cuts, no audible air leaks. The electrical lines, no abrasion, no bulges, no cuts no sight or no smell of any burns. Also, my airlines and my electrical lines have proper clearance from the catwalk and it has extra length for turns. The spring hanger holding it up is not broken, it's not cracked, it's not damaged and it is properly mounted and secured. You can also mention about your dummy hands my dummy hands are not broken, not cracked, not damaged, properly mounted and secure to my tractor. All mounting bolts, not rusted, not cracked, and not missing. From here, I would jump to my header board. My header board is not broken, it's not cracked, it's not damaged. I have proper clearance from the tractor and the trailer for my turns. All the rivets are intact not rusted, not cracked, and none are missing. From there, I would jump right to my apron. My apron is not broken, it's not cracked, it's not damaged. It is properly mounted and secure to the bottom of my trailer, and there are no broken welds. There is no space and there's no daylight between the apron and skid plate. The skid plate has to be 100% grease. The apron has to have grease in the center. My skid plate is not broken, it's not cracked, it's not damaged. It is properly mounted and secure to my platform. All the mounting bolts, not rusted, not cracked, none are missing. We also have our release hitch. Our fifth wheel release hitch is in the locked position not broken not cracked and not damaged the mounting bolt and spring is not rusted cracked or missing 
all the mounting bolts are intact. Next, we have our pivot pin. Our pivot pin is not rusted, not cracked, not missing. And all our cutter pins are in the lock position. Not rusted, not cracked, and not missing. Our pivot pin and cutter pin is also properly greased. Our skid plate is also properly mounted to the platform. The platform is not rusted, it's not cracked, it's not damaged. And all the mounting bolts are not rusted, cracked, or missing. There's no shiny threads and there's no rush streaks between the bolts, which also indicates looseness. Now, we would come to the back of it. And I like to go a little bit underneath so I can see it all the time. Anytime I couple and uncouple, I always make sure I come under here. First thing I want to check is my kingpin. My kingpin is not rusted, it's not bent, it's not broken, it's not cracked. And it is properly mounted and secure to my apron. My locking jaw is fully closed in the shank of the kingpin. It's not rusted, it's not cracked, it's not damaged. And it is also properly greased. Now, we would head back out. And I always like to finish it up with my landing gear because you always need this when you're coupling and uncoupling. My landing gear is not broken, it's not cracked, it's not damaged. It's properly mounted and secure to the cross members and there are no broken welds. All the mounting bolts, not rusted, not cracked, not missing. And there's no rust streaks and no shiny threads, which also indicates looseness. We have our landing gear hitch release. Our landing gear hitch release is not broken, it's not cracked, it's not damaged, and it's in the locked position. All the mounting bolts, not rusted, cracked, they're missing. The bar and spring is not broken, not damaged, and not rusted and no parts missing. Over here we have our landing gear boot. Our landing gear boot is intact. It's not broken, it's not bent, it's not cracked. All the mounting bolts, not rusted, cracked, they're missing. And it is properly raised and fully raised for our railroad crossings. We also have proper spacing between the landing gear and our rear tractor axle for our turns. Now, that's the end of the coupling system. Also, you always want to remember when you're doing the coupling system, you just name the parts that I just named now. You do not add any other parts such as the rear tractor axle. You do not add the suspension items as well as the braking items. The reason why you don't want to mix those two because it's very easy to miss a part such as the brake chamber which is hiding right next to our suspension system. The best thing to do is finish your coupling system and like what I always do is I'll do the rear trailer axle because it's easier to see everything back there. The tractor axle, it has too much going on over here. So I would like to skip this and I'll tell my examiner I want to do the rear trailer axle, which is my suspension system, my braking system, and then the wheel itself. Also remember guys, when you're doing the inspection, you're repeating a lot of things multiple times, such as anything that's rubber, no abrasion, no bulges, no cuts, any metal or hard plastics, not broken, cracked, or damaged. And also, if it has air, no audible leaks. If it has liquid, no visible leaks. And all the mounting bolts, not rusted, cracked, or missing. And every item has to be separate. You cannot combine items. And that's how you get the maximum points. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, you share, you comment. 
and we will have more videos coming up soon. Have a great day.